you can get with this, or you can get with that. I think you'll get with this, because this is where it's at. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here to do another reaction to you two Sunday, Bloody Sunday. I'll be honest, I do know who you two is, but I don't really know a lot of songs from them. And clearly, this one skipped me and missed me in. But I am interested to get into it because you guys out there have suggested it, and we are about to do it right now. And as always, can't do that without the crew. Phenom 202, but say you. Phenom 202, DDA representative, uh, huge YouTube fan. Um, definitely love this song. Haven't seen this uh, any kind of performance from him. I just heard the song before, but I'm uh, ready to get into it, yo. So let's get it. Yeah, I'm ready to jump to it. I mean, you two is you two, yo. They world famous, world renowned, world. They've been around forever. You know what I mean? So let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what they got there. Got got the off on this. We got another you two. Video on this channel. Beautiful day, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We do have beautiful day on this channel. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, check it out. All right, all right, man. Let's go ahead. Get into this. In three, two, one, go. This song is not a rebel song. This song is Sunday, bloody Sunday. That's a lot of Oh, this, this is old. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, this is the truth. Let me recognize these cats, yo. Yeah. Oh, wow.
Wow. Wow. I didn't know the Go song ahead, was made in 83, yo. Uh, yes. So yeah. it's funny because, you know, we, we, we've we been on this guitarist kick lately. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Listen to the best guitar. So The Edge is YouTube's uh, the guitarist. He is always listening like one of the best guitarists ever. You know what I'm saying? I I mean, I know him because I thought I mean, him and Will Ferrell used to be doing skits together because it's, Will Ferrell looked like him and all that stuff. But um, he kills on that guitar. I didn't know he sung any. And um, I got a question for y'all, though. Y'all think, like, how do y'all feel about Bono's singing skills? Like, because everybody can't be Steve Perry. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. As far as when it comes to singing. But what is, I mean, your, what I is think, your thought um, on Bono? I think he, he knows where his pocket is, and he stays there. I don't think he's, like, a phenomenal singer. But he can carry a tune, and he can he he has a distinctive voice. I mean, I clearly know. I, I mean, I don't think he's a bad singer, but I don't think he's up at the top tier of some of the great frontmen that we know. I don't think he's he's up there. But he's he's got a good voice, you know. But he ain't the best one I've ever heard. But I, it, it ain't bad at all. But um, it was really cool seeing him that young, though. I don't I don't. It's even, it was just really cool seeing him that young and actually like okay they. They they good, you know. I see why they've been around for a long time. But his yeah. singing voice, I mean, it, it, what what do you think about his singing voice? Uh, I, I think it's uh, I think he's more of a great. I think he's an all around good lead singer. What I mean by that is voice is not that strong, but I think he has charisma. I think you know he has the look. I think he has that great package to be gotcha. one of the best front men ever. Um, gotcha. I was just always wondering how what. My contemporaries, my people, when they think about his his singing skills, I always wondered that. What we'll say you owe? I mean, you, you can go back to YouTube. Beautiful day, you will find out what I think about his singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys are much more kind than me. <laughs> they are much more kind than me. But now nah, he's a good front man. I give you that. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say because I get enough hate, yo. I mean, their music is timeless. I love, I mean, I say all that stuff, but I love their music. I love everything yeah, about his music. He's bagging up for his voice. No, but honestly, this song is a good song, yo. I, I enjoyed the song. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the performance. Everything about the song was, was, was good, mm-hmm. man. So, and then when, when it's all the meaning behind it, you know, especially, I, I said, it focuses on a 1972 Bloody Sunday incident in Derry where British troops shot and killed unarmed civil rights protesters. So, and we, I had the lyrics up, so it all made sense. So it's definitely like a good song, good meaning behind it, and I enjoyed it, man. And I mean, he's definitely singing aside, like you said, he's a good front man. So that's all. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to with the band. You got uh, some good songs, good music, you get a good front man, and you get you too. You're here for decades, and they deserve to be here for decades. So trust me. I might shit on him singing, but I'm not shitting on him as like an artist. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's people that rap that not the best rappers, but they make the best songs. So, like, you know, so shout out to you too. They do the thing. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Well, man. I, I think it's, I mean, I, I love the song too. I didn't, I had no idea what the song was about. Um, Me I heard neither. the song a I read couple it too. times, but yeah, it's, yo, I'm all for a good anti whatever song, yo, protest song. I yeah. love them shit. Mm-hmm. But how, but how you feel? Because that's the one thing. All that side, I like the song. This and that. How you feel about when people make good music about a tragic event? Some I think music question. is a form of expression. So I I don't I understand why it's done, and it just so happens if the song becomes very popular or you know then so be it but i don't have a problem with uh, people making music behind a tragic event because it's a form of expression and sometimes it brings uh it it it, it brings more of it to the masses that people attention, understand exactly uh, what's going on in the world yeah, yeah. brings attention to it yeah i mean yeah because I, I look at it that way too because some of the best forms of expression has been through poetry and music and and those type of things and people the message sticks in people's heads so you know mm-hmm. we did hurricane by bob dylan yeah mm-hmm. and you know he told the whole story about the ruben hurricane carter the and just stuff that happened to him most people who know it they know because they were bob dylan fans and he sung this song and it made them aware of what's going on 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's fair. I mean, you know, I'm always just a little, uh, and it's a great song. And I'm not even just talking about it. I mean, I mean, this is just music across the board. There's been hip hop songs, rock songs, folk songs, church songs that speak on tra tragic events or whatever. I always, I, it's just always weird to me, though, when I see them performing it. Or, I mean, in this is me singing along in the car. Sometimes I feel weird, too, because it's just like I'm not doing nothing. They're singing along to the song, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I can't even. It's hard to describe. Like boom, like YouTube, they they playing the song in front of tens of thousands of people, and right, this is one right. stadium. Like, is this money going back to these people? Like, and it's mm. the same thing. Like I said, this is not a YouTube thing, so don't trust me. I just I just thought about this, this, this song, like because this same thing happens in hip hop. They rap about events and things that happen. You get a, you a hit song, but like, is mm. anything coming back? Like right, what you right. what you're laughing about, you know what I mean? And Definitely. I'm sure they probably do donate, but it's always just it's like a funny feeling. Like it's a good thing because, like you said, they definitely bring an awareness to some shit that a lot of people wouldn't have been aware of. Right. Yeah. But then when you see them on stage performing and smiling and dancing, yeah, <laughs> it's like yo, it, it really yeah. it's bringing awareness, but it's almost uh, it, it might be kind of lightning. Desensitizing what, like at least for mm -hmm. the the people that are actually affected, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. For the, they're mm -hmm. like, yo, this motherfucker is singing and dancing about my heartache, like my motherfucking daddy got shot. Like, I mean, yeah. and, and like I said, this is and again, not a YouTube thing. This is just just to me, just thinking in general thing with music. Well, it needs thing. it needs to happen, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I'm with y'all. I think it needs to happen. So I, I give an example on our channel. We did uh, Cranberry Zombie yeah. by Cranberries. So we were sitting there listening to the music. And we were like, yo, mm -hmm. this is a good ass song. It has a deep message. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. some people in the comments was like, why y'all smiling to this song? So yeah, they did. some people <laughs> were like, <laughs> like, your sentiments like that. That was true. I'm yeah. like, the song was a good song. Because I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Like, but the message. Yeah, and, I, like, I didn't know either. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But, but that's. Yeah, this is one of those things like with music is it's like a weird thing because it, it like brings people together and brings like a message together mm -hmm. and even in bad or tragic events like you still mm -hmm. can get a, a warm feeling maybe it's just a warm feeling because we're all together on it i don't know my bad i'm just talking right, right no you're right good but well, i'll give you one another one self-destruction yeah, like self destruction. Yeah, they say, "Remember yeah. that I saw funky yeah. fresh dressed with fresh ready to party." Motherfuckers yeah. get murdered in this song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, what yeah. self destruction is about black on black crime in uh -huh. the the urban and rural cities. I mean, I mean, and and we were rapping it. And I rap it now. Yeah. Hype as a motherfucker in like the it's car. A party, like it's a party song. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's a good point, man. Yeah, but, that's nah, a good I, one. But yeah, I'm just. <laughs> Just in my head, I was just thinking random thoughts. My bad. Nah, that's what music does, man. That's a good one. Yeah. This all makes Makes you think. think. Yeah. Well, but thank you, you guys too. so much. If you yeah. have made this, it this, this far, this was a fire song. Yeah. Definitely better yeah. than "Beautiful Day," at least to me. I, I love this song. "Beautiful Day" was <laughs> iffy, but go ahead. <laughs> Thank you guys. If you have made it this far and enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to your friends, family, and just everybody out there on the interwebs as we continue to just grow this channel. And don't forget, every Wednesday we have a live social. Please stop by there and check us out. We do some pretty good things, man. Talk about all the highlights of the 80s and 90s. And we have a lot of fun too. And I think you guys would really, really enjoy that. But definitely come check us out. And as always, I'm Corey Roy. Hollywood DA, Phenom202, and we'll be back at you with another reaction. Peace. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that.